Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Crystal. Today we're talking about not one, but three of Misha's treatment essences. If you're not familiar with Misha, Misha is a Korean skincare brand and it's probably the gateway brand for many of K-beauty fans in the Western world. One of their products Misha is very well known for is their beloved first treatment essence and this is a K-beauty cult favorite even till now and I've personally used this since, oh my gosh, like way before high school. I mean, I've gone through so many bottles so I am very familiar with this OG essence. Well, not only has this OG essence gone through four different generations but Misha also launched two Two, two new treatment essences. So today, I will be comparing these three essences, how they're like, the price range, how they're different, and my personal rankings and my thoughts on these three. The first treatment essence, RX, is the fourth generation and it's actually the most updated essence. It contains 95% fermented yeast, which is the superstar ingredient of this essence, and it also contains ingredients like niacinamide, which really helps brighten and clarify the skin tone as well. But most importantly, it does focus on hydration and wrinkle care. I think that's the key for this specific essence. So it has a clear color and I find this pretty much fragrance free, but it's gone through the double fermentation method, which really helps the essence absorb into the skin better. And compared to the third generation, it has double the moisturizing effect. So it is supposed to be very moisturizing and very hydrating. All right, now let's move on to the Artemisia Essence. I can't even show you guys this much because I, I really wanted to savor the drop, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I just had to finish it. I'll share some pictures and videos of what the texture looks like because I definitely overshared this on my Instagram when I was going through it very quickly. But for this one, it contains double fermented Artemisia extract. And if you're not familiar with Artemisia extract, it's mugwort extract. I think mugwort is a term that more people are familiar with nowadays. But I think mugwort is such an underrated skincare ingredient. So underrated. It has incredible moisturizing and soothing properties. When it's combined with skincare and it touches your skin, it just does magic. Because it does have amazing soothing properties, I find this especially helpful for irritated, sensitive, acne prone skin types. I know personally when I was going through a lot of breakouts and my skin was a hot mess, this essence did everything. And it's moisturizing enough compared to the other two, uh, the red algae and the OG, whereas for those I had to use a toner plus essence in addition. For this one, the mugwort or the Artemisia one, I didn't have to. I just used this alone and it was enough for me. It does have the mugwort fragrance and I can see some people enjoying that and some people not, but I personally find it very therapeutic. In Asian cultures, it's commonly used as an herb. So I think it's something that I grew up very familiar with. For my fellow Koreans who may be watching this video, it reminds you of gingerbam, like sauna. It definitely has that smell, but it's not bad. I, I find it very therapeutic. It does have like the watered green color and I'll share everything right here. This is what it looks like. But as far as moisture and long lasting moisture level, I find this one better than the OG. And last but not least is the Red Algae Treatment Essence. Isn't this bottle just gorgeous? I mean, red is my favorite color. You can see that I'm kind of making some progress into it, but I have been personally loving this essence lately, especially for the summer, because I think it's more like a, consider it the OG plus cooling and refreshing properties. So I think this is great for the summertime because it does have that cooling sensation and it's been good. It has a slight red hue and the consistency is water-like for all three, including this one, but it contains 100% Irish moss extract, which is a type of red algae that strengthens the skin's defense. So it claims to be full of powerful antioxidants to help achieve the healthy skin and is antibacterial and antiviral. It's also gone through a natural fermentation period to make sure to really get the most powerful nutrients during the formulation. 
And if this one is more for wrinkle care and brightening and the mugwort is for sensitive and irritated skin, I think this one is more for stressed and aging skin. So all three of these essences are your typical water-like essences. I mean, they're literally like water, so lightweight, right? You can use this in place of your toner. Typically for me, I use the essence right after cleansing and then follow up with the toner, except the mugwort one, which has been fine just to use alone because it is that moisturizing and hydrating. For my rank, I think it goes like this. Mugwort, red algae, and then the OG. Sorry, OG. So I don't know how it happened, but I ended up getting all three of these essences and I've been really enjoying it. It's very convenient actually because all three essences target different things. I just kind of adapt. Like right now, I reach for this a lot because it's the summer and I keep it in my fridge as well. But during the winter, when my skin was going through a lot, this definitely helped so much. And that's how I was able to empty it. I will be restocking because this one was just awesome. Like I can't speak enough about it. It is so good. And the OG, unfortunately, compared to the other two, I don't think it's like as useful for my skin, but I think anyone who is a newbie with essences or they just want to add that extra essence step, I think this could be a great addition. Go for it. If you've tried any of these essences, I would love to hear your thoughts. I know every skin is different and everyone has different experiences. So I love getting to know other people's reactions and their experiences. So please comment down below if you've tried any of these or if you've been wanting to try it, let me know as well. I'd love to help and answer any other questions that you guys may have. That wraps up my thoughts on the three Nisha treatment essences. And let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. I'm really going to go restock on this one because this one is bomb.com. So good.